Uh, the only reason I'm even making this video is because uh, what I'm actually about to talk about, these individuals are not at all going to back off until everything is all destroyed. And if you end up backing off, this could cost you your life. It could cost you the lives of many individuals. And it could cost you uh, uh, the, the lives of innocents uh, being lost just because you backed off and you thought this was all fun and games and everything was going to be fine and dandy and God was going to give you more time and God was going to give us more time. Uh, they are not at all going to back off, so hit them first before... Um, uh, you know why wait until they hit you right so just hit them first uh the main topic the main reason why i'm even making this video is because uh the the un obviously the, these people are obviously saying this um uh, they uh they, they call israel who is surrounded by notable muslim countries to renounce possession of n nuclear weapons so 153 un states obviously at face value you can see uh, each one of these individuals are, are blatant satanists who are actually in these positions uh that are actually uh trying to destroy israel and gas people and they're basically trying to start uh uh the the final world war three that that's going to be the last war before christ actually returns back uh, and so uh, the the post that I actually put, I said, bind the ones directing this abomination, and the abomination of uh, the abominations in the UN in general, and loose enough legions to get the job done. Now, in my past video, obviously, I, I told you how binding and loosing actually works. Uh, and so because I told you that binding and loosing actually works because uh, we were binding and loosing the ones directing the abomination of abortion in this country. Uh, and obviously this gave us enough uh, space to actually let somebody in who was anti-abortion. Uh, obviously at face value, you know, this stuff actually works. So they're not going to back off whatsoever. So just keep hitting them in the heavenlies and hitting them where it hurts. Uh, but do not forget to actually cleanse your sanctuary first before defining the sanctuary like the priests of the temple who are unworthy. Uh, obviously, these are serious matters. Uh, uh, while you're, while you're uh, destroying them and destroying their kingdoms and their headquarters, you, you can do this at the same time. Uh, and cleanse your own sanctuary before, def uh, cleanse, before defining the sanctuary like the priests of the temple. Uh, you can read about this in, in Deuteronomy, but at face value, you know, it, it makes perfect sense. Uh, do it while you're actually fighting against bind and loose. Uh, uh, while you're actually fighting against these types of individuals and these princes uh, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, do not forget to dwindle their numbers and increase ours and using our weapons that are far more advanced like light is to darkness. Now obviously at face value, what does that mean? We, we keep binding and loosing and obviously we start uh, where we have to start. And we keep moving forward and advancing and just tearing them to pieces, uh, like it's written in, in Psalms 50. And uh, obviously, at face value, it's pretty easy. Uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, but they're going to try to get you to back off and to slack off and like, oh, no, you're going to have more time and this and that. But start from Jerusalem outward. Uh, obviously, we're, out, we're outnumbering, them, outnumbering them already. Uh, our weapons are already a lot better. Uh, we're using anti-tank. You know, we're, we're using the weapons uh, to take out the, the, the right uh, equipment that they're actually using. So if they have tanks that they're using and they're marching on the land, we have anti-tank uh, weapons uh, and guns and things of that nature. So we're actually uh, taking the right precautions and the right uh, uh, weapons to actually destroy uh, their weapons. We're not just going into it blind, 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 uh, uh, you know, blind, blindly. Uh, hit them in the heavenlies and pray for reinforcements where they need uh, the reinforcements and pray for your loved ones because they will definitely attack your loved ones and kill your loved ones. Uh, starting from Jerusalem outward, uh, intercede for the people of Jerusalem. Uh, use God's spirit like it's written in Zechariah 4, 6. Be more persistent in the demons and bind them all and destroy their headquarters placed all around the world strategically. Obviously, these they were, they've already placed their own uh, strategic uh, headquarters. Uh, but obviously we're gonna we're, we're not really uh, uh, doing that right now in this current moment. We're actually fighting uh, we're actually destroying uh, their headquarters strategically that way we could advance and take uh, over more territory. So obviously we're, we're going after the battles that we're, that the headquarters will give us five more headquarters that we're able to destroy instead of going after the one that, that 
that would have just given us one or two. And, and obviously, uh, the, the the more numbers are being dwindled, the less uh, of a force they're actually uh, able to be met. There's more concentration uh, on the on the play. There's more. Uh, uh, of an emphasis on, on places that, that, that they need an emphasis. Obviously, we take care of these and that. Uh, more help is able to be given uh, uh, that you normally would be wasting your time fighting one battle that would just give you uh, one little uh, headquarter. Uh, so gag and bind their princes and chief princes as well as the heads of the chief princes. Uh, make it a mess and too messy to even bother fighting for it or even bother protecting it because they'll just end up abandoning ship and just uh, bouncing and leaving and, and not even they don't even want to bother anymore that's how much of a mess it actually is uh, that's the goal that's that's the, the strategy God, Christ himself will give you strategies himself use God's counsels and strategies and wisdom uh, uh, don't forget to hit the headquarters strategically to conquer it more efficiently I just spoke about that well, I shrink the devil's cage, and the cage is God's will, and the amount of space to move in the cage is the legal ground that he actually is able to work through. Uh, by intercession of the people, uh, you must intercede for by destroying the legal grounds the devil works through, like ancestral curses, generational curses, sins of the fathers, and iniquity, uh, and sin. Uh, bind and loose uh, healing as well as not neglecting yourselves and your fruits and eternal character. Uh, make onslaught of the of the United Nations and the government and the earth. Use God's infinite wisdom uh, and ask yourself what they actually are doing to our children. Uh, humble yourselves down more than is possible that God may prosper your partaking in His will. So this is His will, uh, and every every uh, every victory that you win is obviously His will. Uh, in spiritual warfare, this that was pretty. Uh, Pretty self-explanatory. Pray precise instead of scatter shotting through groans too deep for words. Uh, uh, and ask for reports and take more of an active role with Christ to show you a more excellent way of everything that I just named right now. Uh, and I'll smart the enemy that, that, that brains beat brawn. Uh, pray against abortion, obviously, and everything else that you need to pray against. Uh, as well as this, uh, starting from Jerusalem outward, uh, make them back off first instead of you. Uh, oftentimes, these individuals will definitely make you back off uh, first. That way, they could actually win. So, obviously, if you don't back off, you're obviously going to win, right? So, at face value, you can see that, right? So, they, they don't, the whole, their whole, uh, their whole plan and the whole problem, uh, the whole strategy is try to get you to back off. Uh, just say, yeah, whatever, I'm backing off, you sure are making me do it now. Uh, I wasn't going to do it before, but no, for sure, not going to. Uh, pray against anything that you may have neglected. Keep praying for anything that comes against me and your pastors. Uh, bring the strength back down to the earth. Don't be distracted by their decoys. War against the bigger battles that they cannot, that they can't, that they can't lose because, uh, they'll lose their foothold and essentially the war would be lost quicker than they actually think that it could be lost. Uh, their war, as they will not back off until this is all destroyed. So hit them first. Uh, they're not gonna back off until. Uh, they're not gonna back off at all until this is all destroyed and uh, until, um, you know, uh, you're basically hitting them where it hurts. These individuals, just like the Nazis, everybody can see at face value how evil the Nazis were. These individuals are completely deceived by the devil himself, so uh, they believe firmly in their leader. Uh, they're not at all going to back off, uh, and uh, obviously these individuals are, are, are totally and completely reprobate and um, are fighting for, for, for Nazi Germany, uh, so to speak. Uh, just so you understand how, how these individuals are, they're not going to back off until everything is destroyed. Uh, but the last point that I actually made was actually hitting the battles uh, that they can't lose or else they lose the war. Uh, that's the main uh, thing that you should actually uh, uh, hearken to and actually pay attention to because um, they, they really don't want to lose this war. They really don't want to lose the footholds that they have on individuals as uh, this is the, the this is how they're actually able to prosper and to actually be able to um, uh, to function and and, uh, and flow like water flows in a river. Uh, cut them off uh Put dam stoppers, uh, so to speak, uh, on their pitiful uh, uh, order and strategies. Obviously, everything that they have learned right now, they learn from uh, the devil is teaching them, uh, and the devil learned it from God. So it's really easy to beat them. The, this is basically like fighting against um, 
uh, really primitive uh, ideals and ideas. Uh, the devil can't teach God anything. So even if the devil was to actually have new ideas of himself, uh, God already was aware of it. He's just walking in his own personal script. Uh, keep advancing and moving forward as God has already discarded this. Uh, and yeah, um, I believe that's about it. Uh, keep moving forward and advancing. Hit them even harder than what I even mentioned right now. And I seriously want you to make them pay and make them cry. Uh, I seriously want you to make them pay and make them cry. Uh, and I'll say it again. I seriously want you to make them pay and uh, make them cry. Give all the glory uh, to God. And, uh, and yeah, keep moving forward and advancing. Uh, don't even bother, um, uh, don't even bother, uh, uh, praying for places that God doesn't want you to pray for. Uh, just keep moving forward and advancing, uh, going after the battles that, that are actually going to, uh, make, a uh, an enormous, that are actually going to have an enormous role in, uh, who, who wins this war and who loses this war. Uh, obviously, we're going to win. It's already written in the scriptures that we already won, but you obviously have to do the work uh, uh, right now. So don't be don't be negligent. Don't be lazy. God's not going to do everything for you. Uh, and, uh, and, yeah, keep moving forward and advancing. Uh, don't be... Uh, don't be afraid to to go after the bigger battles. Don't the only when everything is all said and done, the only thing you're gonna do you're you're only gonna have regret. The only regret you're, you're gonna have is uh, not going after bigger battles and not going harder. Uh, when everything is all said and done, what does it really matter? Our lives don't really matter because we all made it. So the only thing that actually matters is actually uh, uh, going to, going in all-out war and actually fighting the enemy uh, where he has to be fought. Uh, the devil knows that his time is up, and the devil is only the source to the to the wicked. Uh, so he's wasting their their time that they have left while they're on the face of this earth. Uh, the devil is in complete accordance with the Holy Spirit. Uh, he's only being used uh, by God as a sword. He, he just plays dumb and acts like he doesn't know what you're talking about. Like we're really actually going to get things done. He's full aware that he's not able to be God. Uh, and that's it. And that's that. Um. Uh, what else am I forgetting? Uh, what else am I forgetting? Uh, maybe I'm forgetting. Um, I don't really know, to be honest. Um. Yeah, so the devil's like terrified of losing certain, uh, uh, certain, uh, well, not the devil, but these individuals who are actually fighting for the devil, uh, they're actually terrified of losing certain, uh, strongholds and certain headquarters that they, they can't lose. Uh, obviously go after these specifically, uh, just for the main purpose that these individuals don't want to lose these strongholds as, uh, this is what is actually giving them the victory that they have right now. Uh, uh, make sure you actually, uh, uh, make them lose the battles that are actually giving them the, the advantage that they have right now. Obviously, this is the legal grounds that the devil has worked through. Keep shrinking the, uh, their cage, uh, that they're, um, uh, that they're actually, um, how would you call it? Uh, the, uh, you know, keep making, uh, keep tightening the devil's leash. Um... Uh, what else? Uh, keep using God's spirit. Just keep saying yes. Keep saying no. Uh, Keep making the devil cry. Uh, make the devil uncomfortable and disturbed. I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit oh, what else he wants me to say. Uh, no, you just said time is up. Uh, they're not going to back off until everything is all destroyed. So he needs you to actually take it uh, serious is what I said. Uh, they're not at all going to back off. So just keep moving forward. Uh, keep making them back off.
since they're not going to back off, keep trying to make them back off and keep fighting and, and hitting them where it hurts and hitting them harder. Um, keep being more persistent in the demons themselves. Yeah, more persistent in the agents that they're actually working through and buying their agents. Make them powerless. Uh, cut them off from their actual power uh, that they actually have. Uh, for uh, uh, just to be broad, to actually say it, uh, uh, their power, their power would be the the use and the employment of the, of the devil. So obviously, cut their power off, right? Uh, bind and loose. Uh, make binding and loosing a, a, a habit that you do automatically. You see something and you just start binding and loosing. Uh, uh, keep binding and loosing. these prayers specifically at Jerusalem and then uh, start outward uh, destroy Babylon so start at Jerusalem destroy the legal grounds that Babylon has given uh, to Jerusalem that the devil is able to actually uh, thrive in uh, and outward intercede for these individuals by breaking the, the curses and sending them to the cross uh Uh, Rewatch all of my videos, please, as I, I, I generally speak about spiritual warfare, as this is what the Holy Spirit actually tells me to actually talk about. Um, keep reminding the devils they're not going to win. Keep getting in their, in their heads. Uh, and keep sending discouragement, depression, and uh, and sadness. Keep binding up the flesh. Um... Keep uh, praying and fasting, uh, dwindling the numbers that are inside of you and your loved ones, uh, dwindling the numbers in the UN and dwindling the numbers even more and more and sanctifying the Jewish people even more and more uh, by uh, intercession, by actually destroying the legal ground that the devils actually work through. Uh, yeah, I believe that's about it. I don't really have much else to say about that. Um, uh, pray for Christ. Uh, give it all to Christ and pray for Him to actually show you a more excellent way. Uh, ask Him to show you what you should do with this amount of light and how you should do it. As you, Apart from Christ, you could do nothing. Uh, don't neglect your fruits and your character and your eternal character as well. Your, your family and your loved one's eternal character. Uh, and uh, don't forget to... Um, uh, give it your A game. Uh, make them sorry. Uh, humiliate them. Make them cry. And, uh,. Uh, that's about it. Uh, pray for God to actually have more individuals to be praying uh, in spiritual warfare and praying these types of prayers as well as obviously more uh, uh, more, uh, more hurtful prayers and more uh, strategic and powerful prayers like these. Uh, keep uh, praying for God to raise up and, and to, to get more laborers into, it, into this, uh, this all-out war as this is all over. Uh, keep sending the people who uh, keep sending the individuals who have to do the, the good works that they actually have to walk in uh, to go do them. Uh, in this case, it would be spiritual warfare. Uh, keep sending these types of individuals to go out to actually uh, be partaking in the good works they actually have to uh, actually have to work in. So obviously, some of these jobs are to to loose individuals to actually be more efficient fighters. Uh, some of these jobs are to actually uh, get individuals to actually do the job that they're actually supposed to be doing, uh, to actually be doing God's will. Uh, uh, keep praying for God's will and spiritual warfare. Uh, some of uh, other other individuals' this jobs is to actually be a leader. That way, these individuals can actually get the the revelations that have to get out. 
uh, to the end of, as this is one body of Christ that must unite um, under one common principle and on common ground itself. You are not at all exempt from ever disobeying Christ's commands. Uh, don't be deceived by any of it. Uh, the devil would like nothing more than for you to believe that there are special circumstances where you could actually disobey Christ. There isn't any. Um, fast. Uh, everybody, uh, everybody, every person in the body of Christ has their own specific job to do. I keep praying for for Christ to actually ensure that everyone in the body of Christ is actually doing their job. Uh, uh, diligently, persistently, and consistently. Um, keep praying for the elect. Uh, keep praying for the individuals that have to be saved to be saved. Keep praying for Christ to increase your faith that it increases, multiplies, and abounds. Uh, let me see what else I'm forgetting. Ask yourself what they're actually doing to our children. Uh, make the devil fight you on, on your terms and get him out of his element. Start from Jerusalem outward. Uh, buying the ones directing the abomination of putting the aborted kidney flavor agent in, in chips and loose enough legions because you are promoting uh, and loose enough legions to get the job done. Uh, because you are actually promote whatever you actually don't fight, you're actually promoting that is in the kingdom of darkness, people. Get that through your head. So fight everything that is in the kingdom of darkness and bind and loose. Uh, get the individuals who, who have to actually... Um, do this job and to walk in these good works to actually to actually do them the whole point of Christianity is the regeneration and reconciliation of the world back to God through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit is employing every Christian with the Holy Spirit uh, to bring the strength back down to the earth because he does the works through his spirit give him the credit only and use his spirit and you get rewarded for it uh, start from Jerusalem outward. All demons are nothing to God, and they, so they should be nothing to you because you are His child. Stop them all before they become an item, before they even get inside of you in your heart, your mind, your will, and emotions, and your character. Uh, get all these wicked demons out of your character. Be more evil towards the demons than they are and that they can never imagine. Be darker than them. Uh, set a line and, and, and uh, that they can never pass. That that's how you know that's that's how dark you are to them. Uh, and hit them, uh, hit them where it hurts. Sin is not just part of your life. God does not want sin. Period. So be more evil than these demons could ever be. And bind all demons and throw them in the lake of fire. Uh, lose legions to hit them first. Bind the rebukes up and move in on the attack formation. That the legions back you up, and they will only back you up if you do what God wants you to do and you have to take the leap of faith be more persistent in demons break all the grounds that you have and in your, your that you have and your ancestors have given be, uh, given demons from the time of your birth until now and think ahead confront the demons and bind them and cast them into the lake of fire obviously loose the good spirits within you before before you even have to before this even brought up to your attention uh, that you neglected to put because you did not know you could and make up for lost time and catch up uh, tell the demons to catch up. Keep it simple and stab the ones trying to lay low and put hooks and drag them out. Give it to Christ and pray for a more excellent way. Focus on your hearts, mind, soul, will, and emotion rather than the results that happen. That obviously this is a, this is you actually genuinely wanting to be uh, set free and released and genuinely wanting to be uh, reconciled back to God and back to Christ. Uh, for every flaw, there is a sin attributed to it. Cast it out and, and anything that is contrary to your heavenly image. Uh, cast out anything that may frustrate God's grace and laws. 
Boycott everything that promotes what God hates. Bind and loose. Hit them. And the ones directing Babylon and the heavenlies and stop the chief princes and the princes uh, cold, as well as the foot soldier legions that they're actually employing. Uh, bind the spirit of war regularly. Make them go on a full-on retreat and make them retreat. Uh, get rid of all the pride that is inside of you. Uh, stop depending on your own understanding for this uh, spiritual warfare and depend completely on God. Uh, as you are, you could possibly be limiting uh, the uh, the Holy Spirit and actually be limiting God, uh, because you're depending on how you're, you're depending on how it's done uh, based on your own understanding. When obviously He has a, a more excellent way that you could possibly have ever thought uh, and imagined. Uh, let it go and uh, fight. Uh, Bind and loose was stopping you from going all out for Christ and all out for fighting for Jerusalem and Israel. <sighs> I think that's about it. Uh, buying whatever they wanted to, to distract you from, because they're going to attempt to distract you from protecting Israel and Jerusalem. So, so take the right precautions and be prudent uh, and keep fighting. Uh, do not be negligent of a thing, neither of your fruits or your characters and opportunities are refining and purifying yourselves. Uh, go to Christ Jesus. Uh, don't wait until they attack, but attack now. Bind and loose. Focus on Jerusalem and Israel from now on because they are and will focus on them uh, from now on uh, until it's completely destroyed. Use crisis strategies, counsels, and wisdom. Trap them and snare them in ambush. Overwhelm them, outclass, outsmart, and overpower them. Uh, overkill. Uh, give the enemy a death blow uh, where you have to give it to them. Uh, remember that the enemy cannot teach God a thing, so clearly their works are in vain. And everything and every plan that they are doing is completely beatable. Uh, pray, pray about anything else that you could possibly be forgetting. Uh, pray through groans too deep for words uh, concerning what you could possibly be forgetting. Uh, God means business, so please do not go back into thinking this is not about to end or you'll be cursed. Uh, it is about to end. Uh, stri strip these witches of their knowledge and power and authority, having zero authority over the Holy Spirit filled believers. Uh, remember, when everything is all said and done, you'll regret not going harder. Take the risks and jump. Uh, bring the strength back down to the earth. Bind and loose. Ask for the report and see where, where they need reinforcements and things of that nature. And make the enemy cry. Bully them back. Make them pay. Break their teeth. Uh, put hooks in them and drag them out if they resist. Keep winning. Uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against demonic power. So we do not care about your good heart. Uh, God is more than able to deliver you. He just needs you to learn. God has already discarded this, people. Uh, bind and loose God's order. Do the works you must do and still and still do what you must. And if you lose, it has to be one of the stupidest things to happen to you because our numbers are higher and our weapons are way more advanced. They're completely beatable uh, and very easy to beat, actually, as they can teach God nothing. So trust in the Lord. Make sure you are polite, courteous, and things of that nature. Uh, fight dirty. Increase the search, intimacy, and adoration of the Lord Jesus and ask for spiritual support, resources, training, Weapons and pray for the uh, for the church to unite to organize and march and discipline your body and holiness. Use common sense for warfare. Uh, preserve holiness after your deliverance and no more conflict. Uh, turn into an unshakable rock. Uh, watch uh, Robert at Sushi Spiritual Warfare. Bind and loose the order. Don't wait until the enemy hits you to fight back. But fight everything and anything. Uh, confront all the power of darkness and be like horses. Uh, kill the spies and evil shepherds. Do not let the demons manipulate your flesh. Sanctify your body. Uh, want to obey God more. Give it to Christ. Infuriate the devil. Destroy his legal grounds and loopholes. Be prepared for everything, whether you think you are prepared for it already or not. Uh, make them beg for mercy and do not drink from the cup of God's wrath. And take this seriously. Walk in the Spirit. Pray precise and for hours instead of just praying for long times. For Christ will not accept uh, any of it. A fight already even before they fight. And fight back. Put them on the defense and go to the and go on the on the offense from now on until Christ returns. Uh, bind the ones directing and loose legion after infuriated legion to, uh, of God's righteousness, sovereignty, holiness, and holy order in Jerusalem and in Israel. 
Use God's will to your own advantage and use the devil's limitations as well. This is obviously goes back to the, to the legal ground that he's actually able to work through. So you obviously use that to your own advantage. Apply it to everything I just named. Uh, pray and do the work. Tie up the princess, gag them so that they can't get through. Destroy them so that they actually can get through. Uh, obviously, th these individuals are going to be asking for reinforcements. Uh, cut the head off the snake. Uh, make sure that these, these reinforcements can never get back, can never get to them. Uh, and uh, keep hindering them and making them late and not on, and not on time. Uh, these devils and these people have, uh, uh, what is that called? obviously fight dirty uh they have these uh uh they have to get uh, their work done uh, on a certain time they have a, t a certain time frame to actually do the work that they have to they have to do for the kingdom of darkness uh stop them completely uh make them late keep hindering them like they hinder you and the devil is getting uh, attacked by more and more people every week and is getting more and more uncomfortable, disturbed, and discouraged. It's pretty easy to beat the devil, people. In uh, any of all demonic problems, take the leap of faith. Do everything according to Christ's holy liking. Ask Christ to help you with all this light. Uh, if you're struggling with any sins, just ask uh, Christ to loose you from it. Uh, bind and loose uh, the good spirit inside of you. Uh, tell the demon to loose you itself. Uh, anything that I prayed against, put it to the sword. Uh, ask God to, to help you uh, not be distracted from uh, from what you can't be distracted from. Uh, walk in the Spirit. And yeah, that's just basically about it. Uh... Make the devil pay. Make the devil cry. Uh, don't care about the demons' feelings. Don't care about being having a good heart for these demons. Uh, they would not do the same for you. Be merciless. Grace and peace be multiplied to you. And the love of Jesus Christ uh, reign in your hearts. Uh, make them ask how. How are we going to beat them now? Uh... Uh, just completely discourage them. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Grace and peace be multiplied to you and uh, the Lord be with you in, in, in spiritual warfare.